Hi everyone, just a quick video. The uh, noise floor on long wave is back to normal. Um, around about minus 110 dBs. Uh, this is antenna satellite in all its glory. Peaking plus S9, peaking S9 plus 20. Uh, so absolutely back to normal. Um, no noise um, sort of manifesting on any of the signals now. Radio 4 on 198 looks normal. Uh, although interestingly, there is a lump of noise here. So the signal from Iceland, which is this tiny little peak here, is uh, two, on 207 kilohertz, it's tiny. And then 189, which is about here, um, you can't hear, but um, I don't know where this lump of noise has come from, but the uh, but ultimately the actual noise floor on uh, or the issues that you know the, the, that I had on long wave. Famous example of what gone. kind of singer? It's gone completely now, and it's a bit of a schoolboy error, really. Um, so what I have been doing is I've been running my receivers through the uh, antenna jet RF splitter. So basically one antenna in and three receivers out. So this is the input from one of my Welbrook loops and then three outputs that at the moment running to the FRG 7700, the NRD525 and the ELAD. Now, I actually tested all of these interconnecting BNC coaxial cables with my meter for continuity and isolation. So basically core to core and core to shield and they all and they all checked out okay. Um I went to, and I went to have a look at this at the weekend and um uh couldn't find anything. Tonight I checked again and the noise was present. So what I actually did was um I basically took the RF splitter out of circuit and just took the um antenna side of the power inserter on the Wellbrook and just put it straight into the back of the ELAD and all the noise went away. And for one foolish second, I thought, uh, oh, oh dear, the uh, antenna splitter is the problem. But of course, it it, it, it wasn't at all. Um, I just started, literally started wiggling. This was the interconnecting wire from the splitter to the ELAD and started wriggling it, uh, uh, wiggling it about. And the noise floor on the SDR basically started jumping up and down and um, replace that for a, for a new cable and uh, all is back to normal. So it just goes to show, um, even, even though I checked out that cable and the other two um, with my meter um, and they all checked out okay, but you know, it just goes to show that um, some of these faults can be uh, intermittent and um, not exactly straightforward. I don't have, I do actually, I was just about to say, I don't have enough um, coaxial cables with BNCs to just swap them all out. I actually do. The problem I've got is that most of them are several meters long. Um, I don't have sort of that many that are kind of like on the bench sort of length, you know, a meter long or half a meter or whatever. But um, but there you go. So anyway, all back to normal, um, which is good because uh, long wave, it's my favourite band. Had some good suggestions via YouTube regarding, you know, hunting, hunting down the noise source, uh, th uh, you know, in the house. Um, someone actually interestingly suggested it that, that it's unlikely to be PLT noise at, at, at these lower frequencies, which is true. Um, and someone else had uh, did have noise uh, problems down at long wave frequencies um, being caused by UPS, of all things. So um, there you go. Some interesting uh, ideas. But in the end, it came down to... Uh, just a failed or intermittent um, BNC uh, coaxial cable. So uh, there you go. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you as I made a big deal of it on the uh, weekend update, but all is sorted. So always a good idea to go for the simple solutions first. Anyway, um, I've got Medi 1. So here you go. This is Medi 1 on Nador, Morocco. <laughs> Okay. 
des invités, experts ou acteurs de l'actualité, des revues de presse, l'instant culture, la story éco. And that is back to normal. That's long wave signal to noise back to normal. So there you go. Okay, well, thanks for watching.